is Lisa and I am from Petri. Welcome to our Get to Know the Founders session where we would like you, the investors, to know more about our issuers and their stories. We will spend about 10 minutes speaking to the founders of these companies and ask them 7 to 8 questions about themselves and the company. After that, we will wrap up the session with a set of rapid fire questions. So today, we are sitting down with Double to get to know more about William. Double is an interior designing and build firm established in June 2023. They are currently pre-live on pitching and aims to raise 1 million ringgit. So without any further ado, I would like to welcome William to our Get to Know session today. Hi, William. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lisa. Hi. So would you like to introduce yourself and the company? Sure, sure. So uh, hi, everyone. I'm William. I'm the CEO of Double Interior. And we are currently doing interior design and build business. All right. So let's go straight to the question. Uh, so William, what's the story behind the company? Why did you start Double? Uh, so basically, we exited our business in Singapore and came back during this COVID uh, when it was 2020. So uh, we have always wanted to come back to Malaysia. And then at the time, both Nathan and Jaken were also operating their business called Key Alliance in Malaysia as well. And then when we met, we knew that we can actually achieve something bigger together. So we gathered and established Double. Yeah. So what were you doing before running uh, the company? Were you always in this industry? Yes, as I was running a business in Singapore too before this company. So, and yes, we have always been in this business for eight <laughs> years already. Yep. So um, what is your typical day um, at the company? I will say a typical day will be meeting clients and making sure everything is happening as planned. So what is the most gratifying thing about running this company? I will say the most gratifying thing about running a company is that you could feel the achievement and satisfaction when people actually grow under your guidance. And then, you know, they were quite lost in life and then they found a purpose in a company. And that I will say is the most precious things I could ever experience in a business. Uh, what are some of the challenges uh, that keeps you awake at night while running this company? Um, there's actually plenty of things that keeps me awake at night. You know, employees' problems, clients, business direction, and then this rounds crowdfunding and so on. And because to maintain a business is not really a tough job, but to make sure it grows in a decent speed, this doesn't happen without consistent thinking and plans. So right now, our challenge, I would say, will be this round of crowdfunding as we do need the crowd, as we do need the fund to grow so we can keep out our plans ahead. Yeah. So just now you mentioned about you have some challenges about uh, probably employee management. Would you like to share more? Um, most, I would say, I would say we all have good employees due to our culture, but it's that because all of our employees, they are meeting clients themselves. So on and off, they will be having issues with client or they will be having difficulty dealing, de uh, dealing with different parties out there, you know, mm -hmm. where, so when there's complications, then we'll be stepping in to guide them, you know, how do we actually uh, deal with this kind of situation. Mm -hmm. And then normally we'll be thinking, what should we do to make each individual employee grow in their own way, in their own strength? Because we do believe everyone has their different strength and then we don't teach everyone based on one package. Everyone has their own package of guide. Yeah. That's amazing. As the leader of the company, you recognize the strength of each of your team members. So I was just curious, would you like to share a little bit more about how do you handle situations whereby when the team members are facing challenging clients? Maybe we can we could use the word rude. Okay, so there will be there's 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 root clients, there's definitely good clients. Okay, so sometimes when our designers, especially our young designers, when they meet some good or unreasonable clients, you know, they will be having headache and they will be very frustrated, like um it's very hard to deal with. So they will come to us and then so we'll teach them, you know, how how should we speak, how should we portray ourselves, you know, to let the other party know that you are not someone who they should be bullied, you are someone that they, they should respect and everything, yeah. Wow, so that's amazing that you are supporting and motivating your team members even during difficult times. So usually right, when the team members are facing challenges, they might have feel a little bit down at times. So how do you as a leader of the team uh, keep them motivated to keep going for your company? Uh, firstly, they do need to. I do need to make them understand in sales line or in business or everything. 
when you have good stuff there will be there will definitely be best stuff okay so when you have like 10 good customers you know there will be there will always be one or two you know uh maybe tougher customers and everything then and they will need to accept that the fact of this is life we can't have everything go as our plan yeah mm-hmm. so once once they once they accepted this true and then they embrace it that from there they will improve their skill of communication to deal with different situations and then mm-hmm. once they are very familiar and they master the skill things will be a lot easier for them and then from there they will be meeting less and less difficult clients wow that's so true i agree after all challenges are what makes us grow as an individual and a company so let's move on to the next question um, so william anyone out there that you look up to maybe business ceo or sports icon for example and why uh yes there's someone i have always looked up for which is reed hastings the ceo of netflix okay um, so why because the culture he has in netflix is what we are also practicing for years already so uh one day i realized the similarity of ours and netflix's culture eventually when i was watching youtube okay and since then i have been studying his leadership and netflix grow until now to you know to complete and beautify our own culture so out of so many giant companies out there he's the one that i want to learn most from so going back to netflix ceo just now so i was just curious when you mentioned that we have practiced the same culture as netflix wondering what is the culture similarities between netflix and double so I, I would say I would say it's the no rules rules because there they practice no rules rules and here same as well where we do not limit our employees working time you know how they claim leaves how they claim their expenses and everything or how they work and everything they can they can arrange everything in their own as long as they add in a double's interest mm-hmm. okay and then in here because we we encourage our employees to disagree you know disagree loudly when they think that it's not appropriate even when even when it's a decision i made you know they could they can just come to me and tell me uh when when we are alone that hey vidam uh just now i think that uh, i disagree with your point and then they will tell me why okay because we believe um we are not i mean as long although we are the employer but sometimes we will make mistakes or sometimes you know our employees they will have very brilliant idea where i think a lot of companies out there they have missed this out and then they have missed all the good employees yeah so because in here we encourage them to do in their own way as long as as long as they know what they are doing everything so the creativity here and then the the freedom the flexibility of solving problems i would say is higher than outside because they are really used to solve their own problems in different situation instead of just following the rules and everything wow that's impressive it sounds to me that you are as a leader you're providing your team members with a safe space to voice their own ideas and grow as a team members for your company yeah so what is your aspiration and vision for the company uh the biggest aspiration i have is to become a big group of companies in the future of course and then big enough that we are able to influence the market easily and help Malaysia to improve in a faster pace. Uh, inside the group of companies we have, the leaders will be most of our employees that has been with us since we were small. And because it's not just a business for us, it's a, it's a reason why we started this, why we fought so hard for the place where people can find a purpose, where they know they are fighting for something. Wow. Okay, thank you, William. Next, we want to play a quick game of rapid fire questions. I will give you an option to pick this or that. This is supposed to be no pressure, so whatever you have at the top of your head. Okay, work from home or work from office? Work from home. Are you a morning person or a night person? Night person. Okay, uh, would you rather travel to the past or to the future? To the future. Okay, wow. Okay. Uh, are you an optimist or realist? Optimist. All right. Uh, organized to the smallest details or controlled chaos? Um, organized to the smallest details. Okay. Well, okay. That is the end of our rapid fire question. Mm-hmm. So before we end this session, William, do you have any final message for your potential investors out there? Um, so to all the potential investors out there, uh, we are really determined to and we really mean what we said to everyone 
So please do take a look at our company if you are looking for a potential company to invest in. We will not let you down. Thank you. Hey, thank you, William, for being here today. To those of you watching, please find the camping page at www.equity.pitching.my where you can also post any questions that you may have for William in the Q&A session in the camping page. Thank you for joining us in our Get to Know Founder session. See you next time.